How do you prepare for cat algebra? How does one prepare for the algebra section in the cat? I'm going to think about what are the different subcomponents here, what should be the overall approach and what is the weightage for this. Right? So, uh, the different subsections here, lots of things can clearly get clarified as, uh, classified as algebra. Some can have overlap with other topics as well. Right? So, the easiest topic to start off with for algebra will be linear and quadratic equation. Find how to frame equations, how to solve them, how to know how many roots are there, how many are real, how many are not real, etc, etc, etc. Linear and quadratic equation. Then you will have, you can branch out upwards to inequalities, then functions, progressions, algebraic expressions, then polynomials. And so inequalities and functions are clear, self-contained. Algebraic expressions, what do I mean by that? How do you factorize a, factorize a square minus b square, a cube plus b cube? If a plus b plus c equal to zero, what does it mean about something else? Those kind of questions. Polynomials. This is beyond quadratic. So cubic or a biquadratic, what will be the sum of the roots, product of the roots? How do we think about a polynomial expression? And so the last two are less important, but useful nevertheless. And so what, how should one prepare? And you should get focus on linear and quadratic equations, get comfortable with that. After that, I would think about doing one thing uh, called as working with variables. It's a very vital idea. All of algebra is to get a certain friendliness to a generic case from a specific case and if you're told Ram is six years old, Sham is eight years old, then Ram's age plus Sham's age is six plus eight, 14. Ram has 12 chocolates, Sham has nine chocolates, Ram has three more chocolates than Sham. So we're used to dealing with numbers. But we have, you should be, you should get comfortable in dealing with a number of topics in ratio, proportion, mixtures, uh, speed, time, races, percentages, profit and loss without numbers. So it should, should work with variables to get comfortable with X's and Y's. If you're told a company grows at R percent and then their profit grows at Y percent. If profit margin in the first year was K percent, what is it likely to be this year? So then you need to have a sense of how am I going to work with the X, Y, Z, K, L, M. That idea is important. So work with variables. So in our course, we have a session called as working with variables where you talk about the simple topics but with variables superimposed on them. So that, that idea is very important. And so how does one prepare? Go in a proper sequence, get more and more comfortable with variables, hit linear quadratic equation first, then work with variables for several arithmetic topics, then add on progressions and inequalities functions, then finally go to algebraic expressions and polynomials. That will be a good sequence. Get plenty of practice in to deal with x's and y's, z's and p's, q's and r's. That is very vital. How important is this topic? This is probably uh, second only to arithmetic. And arithmetic is a big chunk. Out of 34 questions, give or take 13, 14, 15 come from arithmetic. And then you get 8 to 9 from uh, our uh, algebra and probably 8 to 9 from geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry. And so Beyond this, number systems and miscellaneous is a small part. And so first, the mothership is arithmetic, then come algebra and geometry. In, in, in the year to year, there could be an up and down, but it's a pretty vital topic. Give or take uh, one fourth the paper or little less than one fourth of the paper is likely to be focused on algebra. And so uh, have a good crack at this. With practice, you can nail this topic. This is tougher than arithmetic, but definitely easier than probably geometry, modern math or number systems. So it should be next on your list in terms of groups of topics to prepare for. Best wishes for Canada.